In a groundbreaking announcement, Elon Musk has revealed that Tesla's humanoid robot, Optimus, is already actively working in their factories. As he said, Optimus is already doing some tasks in the factory and the scope of its ability is increasing rapidly, Musk declared, marking a historic milestone in robotics history. This isn't just another futuristic promise. It's happening right now in Tesla's facilities, pushing the boundaries of what we thought possible in automation and artificial intelligence. He highlighted the main challenge as improving Optimus's design for mass production and establishing a complex supply chain. This exchange offers insight into Musk's vision and Tesla's ambitious plans, raising questions about Optimus's current role, evolution and potential to revolutionize the workforce. Let's rewind for a moment and consider the journey of Optimus. When Musk first announced the Optimus project, many dismissed it as another one of his fantastical ideas. After all, creating a functional humanoid robot that can perform a wide range of tasks is no small feat. It's a challenge that has stumped roboticists and engineers for decades. But as we've learned time and time again, underestimating Elon Musk is a risky proposition. With Tesla's expertise in artificial intelligence, advanced manufacturing and cutting-edge engineering, the company was uniquely positioned to tackle this challenge head-on. Fast forward to today, and Musk's latest revelation suggests that Optimus has made significant strides. But what exactly can Optimus do? And how does it compare to other robots in the field? When Musk mentioned that Optimus is already performing tasks in Tesla's factories, he instantly sparked a wave of curiosity. Is Optimus really taking on duties traditionally done by humans? And if so, what kind of tasks are these? The idea of a humanoid robot operating in one of Tesla's advanced factories suggests a radical shift, not just for Tesla, but for the future of manufacturing itself. Let's paint a picture of what this might look like. Tesla's factories are already some of the most advanced in the world, featuring high levels of automation with mechanical arms, sophisticated conveyor belts and laser precision machinery. Now enter Optimus. Unlike a standard robotic arm, Optimus isn't confined to a single station or task. This humanoid robot can theoretically move between different areas, adapting to various jobs as needed. Imagine Optimus carrying parts from one station to another, assembling small components with precision, or even inspecting and monitoring quality tasks that up until now required human hands and eyes. While Tesla's traditional robotic systems are efficient, they lack the flexibility and adaptability of humans. This is where Optimus could truly stand out. Picture a robot that can switch from one task to another based on demand, or detect errors in real time and take corrective actions. In an industry where every second counts, such capabilities could be truly transformative. But the potential of Optimus extends far beyond just the factory floor. As a general-purpose robot, its applications could be virtually limitless, from assisting in warehouses and construction sites, to aiding in disaster relief efforts or even helping with household chores, Optimus could revolutionise numerous industries and aspects of our daily lives. Now, if you've got intrigues enough and want to learn more about how much advanced Atlas is compared to Sophia and Omeka, then do watch the video shown on your screen. John Carmack's scepticism speaks to a broader conversation in the tech world about humanoid robots. The idea is undeniably exciting, but it's also challenging on multiple levels – technologically, financially and even philosophically. Carmack represents a cautious perspective, one that recognises the potential for robots but questions their feasibility in the immediate future. And he's not alone in this thinking. Many in the tech industry have seen numerous robotic projects struggle to move beyond the prototype stage. Humanoid robots have faced numerous hurdles over the years. Battery life has been a persistent challenge. How do you create a robot that can operate for extended periods without needing frequent recharging? Mobility is another issue. While we've seen impressive demonstrations of robots walking and even doing backflips, navigating the complex and unpredictable environments of the real world is an entirely different challenge. Then there's the question of real-time decision-making. In a dynamic environment like a factory floor or a household, a robot needs to be able to adapt quickly to changing circumstances. This requires sophisticated AI capabilities that go beyond simple programmed responses. And let's not forget about the economic viability. Many robotic startups have struggled to create economically viable robots because while they can produce a few functional models, scaling them up and making them affordable is a different story altogether. So is Carmack right to be sceptical? Or does Musk's optimism point to a breakthrough that others have missed? While the challenges facing humanoid robots are significant, Tesla might be in a unique position to overcome them. Unlike many robotic startups, Tesla has several advantages that could tip the scales in its favour. 
First, there's the question of resources. Tesla is a well-established company with significant financial backing and a track record of bringing innovative products to market. This means they can afford to take a long-term view on the development of Optimus. Investing heavily in research and development without the pressure of immediate profitability that often hampers startups. Second, Tesla has extensive experience in artificial intelligence and machine learning, thanks to its work on autonomous driving systems. This expertise could be crucial in developing the sophisticated AI needed for a general-purpose robot like Optimus. Third, Tesla's manufacturing capabilities are world-class. The company has revolutionized car manufacturing with its highly automated factories. This experience could be invaluable in tackling the manufacturing challenges that Musk highlighted in his tweet. Finally, there's the Elon Musk factor. Musk has a history of taking on seemingly impossible challenges and succeeding against the odds. From reusable rockets at SpaceX to making electric cars mainstream with Tesla, Musk has shown a knack for turning visionary ideas into reality. But even with these advantages, the road ahead for Optimus is far from easy. Let's take a closer look at the challenges Tesla faces in bringing this ambitious project to life. In his tweet, Musk pointed out that while Optimus is already functional, making it viable on a large scale is another story. The toughest part by far, Musk wrote, is improving the design of Optimus for ease of manufacturing and tooling up a complex supply chain. This is a critical point because mass producing a robot of this complexity is no small feat. For starters, the design of Optimus has to be efficient enough for high volume production. Tesla needs to consider factors like durability, energy efficiency and material sourcing, all while ensuring that each unit performs reliably and meets safety standards. Imagine the vast array of components that go into a humanoid robot. Motors, joints, sensors, cameras, batteries and a central processing unit, among others. Every part has to be designed with both performance and cost in mind. How do you create a robot that's sophisticated enough to perform complex tasks, yet simple enough to manufacture at scale. Then there's the supply chain challenge. Tesla's supply chain is already stretched thin with electric vehicles, which require specialized materials like lithium for batteries and high-grade steel for the body. With Optimus, they'll need to develop new supplier relationships for robotic-specific components. This includes advanced sensors, AI processors, and flexible materials that allow the robot to move in a human-like manner. It's an entirely new frontier, and Tesla will need to create a supply chain robust enough to support not just a few prototypes, but potentially thousands or even millions of units. This is where Tesla's experience in scaling up production for its electric vehicles could prove invaluable. But the challenges don't end with design and manufacturing. Let's consider the broader implications of bringing a general-purpose humanoid robot to market. If Tesla manages to solve these production challenges, the possibilities for Optimus are vast. Humanoid robots could become a mainstay in industries that rely on repetitive, labour-intensive tasks. Think about warehouses, where picking, sorting and packaging are key operations. Instead of employing large numbers of human workers, a fleet of Optimus robots could handle these tasks with precision and speed, and importantly, around-the-clock operation without fatigue. But the vision extends beyond just factories and warehouses. Elon Musk has spoken about Optimus as a general-purpose robot, which implies a much broader range of applications. Imagine Optimus working in sectors that currently lack enough human labour due to high physical demands or safety risks, such as construction or firefighting. Or consider how it could assist in elder care, providing physical support to people who have mobility issues or performing tasks that might otherwise require expensive human assistance. The potential applications seem limited only by our imagination. In a broader sense, the rise of humanoid robots like Optimus could have profound implications for society. Automation has always sparked fears of job loss, but robots capable of taking on complex, human-like tasks introduce new questions about the future of work and the role of humans in various industries. If Optimus truly becomes a general-purpose robot, it could open up opportunities for human workers to focus on creative, strategic and emotionally driven roles leaving the more physically demanding or monotonous tasks to robots. But this transition would likely not be without its challenges and controversies. As we look to the future of Optimus, it's clear that this project represents more than just technological advancement. It's a potential paradigm shift in how we view work, industry and human potential. Musk's revelations hint at a future where robots and humans collaborate closely. Questions remain about Optimus's evolution, future capabilities and society's adaptation to humanoid robots in workplaces and homes. 
while sceptics raise valid concerns, Musk's announcement suggests Tesla might be closer to success than many thought. Challenges lie ahead in design, production and addressing ethical implications. However, if Tesla's track record is any indication, we may be witnessing the early stages of a robot revolution that could profoundly reshape our world.